What's up guys, I'm Philip. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, first off, I want to apologize for, uh, it's been all the way since July since I put out a video. Uh, part of that is on purpose. I've been trying some new products and I kind of wanted to see um, how they would do over the um, next couple of months since my last video, just to um, give it some time. As you know, everything in the hobby takes a while to adjust. So these are the two new products I've been using. It's the Coral Frenzy pellets and the Coral Frenzy probiotic formula, along with Brightwell Aquatics Coral Aminos. I've switched over, but um, prior to using those items, I was using the um, a kind of a mixture of Polyp Lab um, Reef Roids. I was also using Benepets and Reef Chili, mixing them all together. Uh, one of the things I noticed um, while I was using all three of those components was I would always get a little bit of a phosphate spike. Um, it wasn't anything serious, just something to point out. Um, also, someone else that um, has kind of mentored me in the hobby um, also wanted to point out that one of the products has some added fillers. Now, I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but uh, just something that he pointed out and it might not be natural for a reef aquarium. So it just uh, given me an opportunity to try some new products. Uh, Coral Frenzy has been one of the, probably one of the first coral foods that I can remember coming out. I've used it for well over a decade and I had no idea they released this new formula. So um, that's what's been going on with that. Other than that, uh, it's been a little bit of laziness. And the other thing is um, I've kind of got hooked on the Instagram bug. So if you're not following me on Instagram, I'm CC underscore Reefkeeper, R-E-E-F-K-P-R. I post on there almost daily. It's just so much easier to document the tank. So anyway, a um, couple other things have changed with the tank since my last video. As you can see on the sides here, I'm using MP40s now. Uh, the reason for switching uh, power heads, prior to these, I was using the Max Spec gyres. I was doing a water change one day and I noticed that uh, in top of some of my colonies, I was getting a lot of detritus and buildup. And I believe that was just because the flow was um, pointed up high and it just wasn't reaching the middle. Initially, I wanted to, um, I was gonna leave the gyres on the side and run the MP40s, but seeing that I have a mixed reef, the LPS and then the soft corals, the mushrooms, zoanthids, they just couldn't take the extra flow. So um, a few other changes. I've added quite a few new corals since the last video. Um, they got these fathead dendros right here. They're doing great. And that's another reason why I've switched to the coral frenzy is because now I have to target feed. I target feed these guys, both the pellets and the um, probiotic pow powder. I've got a few different uh, new zoanthids. A um, couple new mushrooms. That one there is the Frankenstein Bounce. And that one there is a Uranium Bounce. Those couple of new corals. Of course, my OG is just really booming, doing well. Um, this is another one I picked up at a um, farmer's frag swap up north. It's an Elegance with pink tips. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm loving it. Um, you guys tell me since the last video if you can see improvement in growth and color. I noticed since I've been using the Coral Amino and the Probiotic Power, I'm getting a lot better colors. Um, this Millie right here in the center of the screen, that is another new addition. Coming down, this guy right here is called a Slush Fund Acro. You can see I epoxied it on the um, existing um, rockscape. I just use Tunzi Coral Gum and the uh, Dollar Store Super Glue Gel just to give me a little extra ledge for added coral. That one there is a Pikachu that I got at Reef of Palooza Anaheim, but it was grown outside, so it was pretty much just brown when I got it. Coming across the top here. The Walt Disney is actually starting to get some height on it now. It's doing really well. I got another blue acro in the back there, blue tenuous. Underneath this ledge, I have a little frag of my orange passion. 
Then on this back wall, these um, also are new. These are called reef racks. They um, are magnetic frag racks that look like rocks. Uh, the coral on the left is a paletta pink tip that was getting stung by my ne an enemy, so I put it over here. And the one on the right is a possible home wrecker. I also bought that from the guy who grows outdoors. Now these guys here are absolutely just booming. This red planet is just humongous and doing fantastic. Same with the red robin stag. All these guys here, the PC Rainbow, Kelly Tort. Um, you can see in the back here, the tricolor Velita has been chopped up and I just did that a couple of days ago. Um, I did notice some bite marks on it and I found some acro eating flatworm eggs. So I chopped it up, got rid of the eggs and I've been inspecting all the other corals. I dipped as much as I could in the surrounding area. But probably part of the problem is my corals are so encrusted on the rock that it would be almost impossible to pull them out without destroying the reef. Um, here's another new acro I got here. This one is called a Captain Marvel. It's another rainbow tenuous. Same thing, I epoxied this little rock on here with Tunzi coral gum and the uh, super glue gel. The Phoenix Monty is new. And then I forgot over here, slow burn Monty. So I'm still having a little bit of trouble trying to keep this uh, space invader in here, but I did find out that uh, my flame angel was the culprit and he's been nipping on it. So I kind of have it off in this corner. This is kind of the clownfish area, so they kind of run them off. And it seems to be doing okay. I got the big giant colony of it in the frag tank and it's doing really well. A um, couple other new zoas over here, some pink uh, zippers, some butt kissers, scrambled eggs. This one in the corner that's all shriveled up is a space chaos. It has just never done well in the tank. And uh, that one there I think is called a bow tie. I'm not exactly positive. And then as we walk around here, this is kind of new to me. These are um, acans I picked up at that farmer's frag market up north. They're um, doing really well. I've never really kept acans the entire time I've been in the hobby, but uh, you know, it's, uh, it's just something else to add a little splash of color in this corner. I'll give you a side view across the top. Everything's really doing well, guys. This is another one of the reef racks, magnetic frag racks. I'm just kind of doing this uh, video like a live stream. I just don't have the time to edit anything and I wanted to get something out to you guys. You can see my torch corals are really doing good. I've fragged them recently, made a little bit of money on the, all these other, it's kind of a fair trade on all those other new corals that I've purchased. I haven't really had to come out of pocket, which is super nice. And um, that's also a new coral. That's a red, uh, red dragon. It's doing really well. I got it on the sand bed. So I just wanted to put something out for you guys. I know a few of my subscribers, which kind of blows me away, but they said, Hey, you haven't put out a video since July. And I do apologize for that. It's just, uh, Instagram is a lot easier for me and I'm in really, I post on there almost every day guys. So if you want to follow me, like checking out the tank, I always post all my new additions and what's happening with the tank. Hopefully these, uh, acro eating flatworms aren't going to take hold. Um, I, a couple months back, I had them in this colony right here. I chopped it up, dipped all the surrounding areas or surrounding corals in the area. And I didn't see any eggs or any bite marks for quite some time until just the other day when I saw them on the tricolor. But from what I understand, I don't know a hundred percent sure on this, but that is one of the corals that the, uh, Acro eating flatworms tend to really enjoy is the tricolor Velita. So 
Hopefully by chopping off the base, getting all the eggs out, dipping, hopefully uh, that puts an end to it. I do have a ton of wrasses in here, Springer Damsel, so hopefully that takes care of it. So that's what's happening, guys. Just a quick little update, let you guys know what's happening on the reef. Um, again, I apologize for not getting something out sooner, but uh, I just been on Instagram and I wanted to give a chance for these uh, new foods to work to see how I like them. And that way I can report. Uh, I plan on doing a um, full video review on those guys, show you how I mix it, how I target feed. So stay tuned for that. In the meantime, guys, thanks for watching. Take it easy and I will catch you on the next video.